you had to get names of individuals uh, who were uh, in, in your pictures whenever possible. And that meant getting their hometown name or location and uh, their unit. Usually, of course, though, when the caption came back, the unit uh, identification was, was uh, marked out as well or let's say censored or as well the uh, location where the film, particular picture was made. And did, did you and your men have to come up with the captions for the photos or did the censors do that? Well they rewrote uh, the information that went, went along with the film and uh, then as I say generally what they wrote was pretty much the same as we had written and filed with the uh, pictures or the roll of film. Well, I've seen some of the group pictures with the captions on the back, and sometimes there are like 15 guys with 15 even street addresses, town addresses. Well, for a picture of that sort, you had to find the time and uh, get all the names. And the, one of the ways to do it is to pass the thing to the guys who are in the picture and have them do it, and then uh, have it done in such a way that you could identify or put each name with a pic with a person in the picture. Did the soldiers like their pictures taken? Oh yes, they they uh, enjoyed it because then uh, Aunt Susie would know what they were doing. But the fact is that they didn't see very often the pictures that we did shoot. Of course, when we're assigned to a particular unit, then you can, uh, when we get the prints back, which we usually got with the uh, le uh, captions printed on the back side, then we could show them to some of the guys that we had, uh, had been with you at the time the picture was made.